daughter. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carrie? I'm okay. How was your day? Hey, okay. you. Did you have a good day? Yes, I stay at home. I work from home today. Good, 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 good. Arnoldo, how are you? Yeah, hello, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Good. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Uh, I'm. I'm. I. I. Uh, I'm feeling a little sad because it's the last class, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. It's our last class of 2020. Yes, teacher. Yep. So we don't. We don't know yet. Uh, if classes will start again um, the second, the first, or the third week of January, we expect to to start soon again. Okay. Okay. So so we don't wait uh, that long. Okay. Right. Okay, perfectly. Yep. Okay. So welcome back. It's December sixteenth, two thousand and twenty. Yes, 20. So we officially start the last two weeks of 2020, the last two weeks of December, right? Yes, right. So 2020 right. has been very, very different than previous years. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 
It changed our lives in so many ways. Financially, education, uh, health. Yes. Family communication. I mean, everything changed. Everything changed. Everything changed. Yeah, that's but, true. Mind. But we're mind. still here. <laughs> but we're still here. And that's a big benefit. That's a big um, uh, profit. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word profit? What is profit? Mm -hmm. Beneficio? Benef uh -huh. Ganancia. Ganancia. Yeah, ganancia. Yes. Yeah. So that is profit. profit. Yes. So what has 2020, let me write that question in the chat. What has 2020 taught you? You know, 2020 has taught us many things, many, many things. Uh, what is the model that you use when you are 100% sure about something? Must. Must. Yes. Sorry. So how do you say, debió haberte enseñado algo? Must, it must, must have, uh -huh. must have, must have, must, must have, must have, taught, must taught, taught you, taught you, uh -huh. something. something. Excellent. Something. something. Let me see. Something. Must have taught you something. Right there. Mm -hmm. Can you see the chat? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, it must have taught you something. So, debió haberte enseñado algo. So, that's going mm -hmm. to be our first activity. I will assign you to work in pairs. Let me see this here. And discuss that uh, question. What has 2020, 2020 taught you? So, let's go here. And I know he must have taught you something. Okay. Okay, we are going to. I'm going to ask you a, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what 2020 do you think? Uh, uh, oh, if, if, uh, what 2020 do you think uh, taught you? In my case, taught me that. Uh, family is very important. That that I've been blessed with having a meal every day in my table. Do I still have a job? And what else? I, I am working right now, because, but, but I stopped to work to to take care of her because the 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 person that uh, take take care uh, normal normally in the, during the week uh, couldn't couldn't be with her because. Uh, we we don't we don't have uh, any any kind of transportation uh, for her, and uh, she she couldn't she couldn't be here, and I I I have to I, I have to take the the responsibility of of taking care, and it it was good because uh, 
Uh, I haven't had time with her because uh, only I, I was working, working, and working, and uh, I I didn't work. Approximately, let me check: February, March, April, May, June, July. Approximately six and a half months. Uh, but my my company was very good with me because I. I put the how I say, renuncia. Uh, yes. I don't. I don't know. Do you know how? I quit. Uh, how, I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. But my company uh, didn't uh, let me <laughs> too quick, <laughs> and uh, oh. they they taking more time. They taking a they no. They took. They gave me. They, they gave you. me more time. They yes. To, to take care of my, my mom. But uh, after the, the transportation uh, was, was uh, or, or began to, to work. Hello. How are you, Herbert? Um, well, this is the last day, so <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so yeah, happy. you know, the only reason why I'm here is because it's the last day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. He's, on, uh, he's okay, honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are we supposed to do right now? <laughs> yeah, uh, right now we're talking about what the year 2020 uh, taught you uh, in, in your life. What did 2020 teach you? this year <laughs> that's your topic okay but it's very difficult to 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 come down it's very difficult that's what i'm telling you you have to be patient in life it is really hard it is really hard to, to win to the, to the time to want to the time is really Difficult. Yeah, this is true.
You guys finished already? Uh, yes, we have yes. finished already. Okay, let's go back. All right. Any questions or any comments about what the year 2020 uh, taught you? No, teacher. No? Okay, so now we go to a discussion uh, exercise. Let me show you this right here. Uh, this paper contains um, some of the topics that we discussed uh, while we were working together. Let me see this here. Give me a second. Now, where is this dog? There is a dog. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Where is, okay, right here. Okay, can you see the document? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Noe, can you take the image and send it to the to the WhatsApp? Okay, teacher. Right now. No. Right now. Oh, okay. Done. Done. Let's see. Nine to ten. God, I'm sorry. Could you please put your microphone in mute because we are hearing we are hearing all the conversation. Yeah, I'm sorry, but okay. it's annoying. Okay, let me see this here. Okay, uh, did you send it, uh, uh, Noe? Yes. I didn't receive uh, it. No. Sorry, I, I sent it to a, to a wrong group. <laughs> Okay, let give me a second. Um, give me a second, please. No problem. Okay. Okay, let me, ah, uh, there. Thank you very much, Noe. So let me recreate, recreate one, two, three, four. 
go here and discuss the six questions. Sorry. In connotation is the emotional suggestion of a word that is not literal. The, what is the notation? It's the notation like, is the meaning that you find in the dictionary. In connotation, uh, in connotation is the, the feeling emotion, you put to the, the word. You, uh -huh, that's correct, the feeling. Oh, okay. okay. I don't even know the meaning in Spanish. How will we know the meaning in English? <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know, I think Spanish, but in English with the same, the, you say, I understand. Okay. What did you okay, say? The notation is the meaning and connotation is the feeling that you put to the word. Okay. okay. Then what's the difference between out Authentic and instructional material. Instructional material. Um, authentic is when you create an instruction. Instructional material is like books, I think. Mm -hmm. For example, as the teacher, uh, I think our teacher is authentic. He he gives us exercise and he is not only following the, the material in the platform. Right, uh, authentic makes reference to um, real, like if we're practicing listening, uh, mm -hmm. movies, movie trailers, music, that's authentic. If we're talking about reading newspapers, magazines, articles, that's authentic too. Uh, so anything where the language is used in a natural way that is considered to be authentic. Instructional is when you use a book. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, so in, in your case- Richard, these questions uh -huh. are very difficult. <laughs> yeah, these questions are difficult. I, I, I mentioned, um, all these um, things uh, during the course. So in your case, you have to make a combination of authentic and also you have to make a combination with um, instructional. So you're gonna oh, make a combination okay. of both, right? Okay. Yes. You know, well, maybe mm. the teacher can help us. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're, we're trying to talk about the notation and connotation uh -huh. we, well f for example i i got to make a little research and i try i, I think i understand for example i said uh, white dove the notation mm -hmm. it's a bird color white mm -hmm. and maybe for the connotation will be for describing a person who is quiet or stuff like that. Maybe that's the thing. Okay, yeah. Denotation um, makes reference to the real meaning of the word. The real mm -hmm. meaning, the meaning that you will find in a dictionary. That's the denotation. 
connotation is how people use that word. So, um, how, how can I say this? Uh, what is what is the national dish uh, in El Salvador? Pupusa. Right. So, if you look for the word pupusas in the in in, in a dictionary, we'll say uh, Salvadorian food. That's the denotation. Now, mm -hmm. if we talk about the connotation in El Salvador, we can use the same word to talk about other things, ab about a part of a woman, for example. You see what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I get it. I get so, it. so that is the connotation, how people use the word. Oh, for example, in Spanish, when we say someone is codo. Ah, exactly, exactly. In Right. Right. Yeah. right, right. That that's a very good example. So okay. code for the word codo, a part of the arm. What is the connotation in El Salvador? Someone stingy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, we now have the <laughs> materials and instructional materials would be like mm, What, don't you think that's what it is? Okay, what is authentic? Something real. Authentic? Something real. Okay, but in terms of English, what is authentic? Let's say we're practicing listening. No. And I said, I'm going to play authentic listening today. What do I mean by that? Uh, maybe you're talking about to hear music, news, or right. a movie. Okay, so what kind of example is that? Those are examples of real English. So when okay. you watch a movie, that's real English. They're not thinking about English students. Uh, when you listen to music, when you watch a movie, that's, that's authentic. They use the language in a very natural way. Instructional makes reference when you are learning with a book. Like, like the examples. In the in the in the in the portal for in the in the, in the, in, in the platform exactly now the platform uh, the the material yes the material is instructional exactly but in your case uh, in your free time when you watch movies when you listen to music when you go to YouTube you're practicing authentic uh, material so do you see the differences? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, the N and also in Spanish, for example, the WL is doesn't count anymore. Or the H, yes. the CH, the CH. Yes. The, I think there was a time that the CH and the L exceeded.
they they think there is another one that I I couldn't write it. But, but teacher is here. You okay. Can talk talk teacher? to me. Yes. <laughs> okay. I I remember you told us about the the five things that we need to know about a word. Right. Can you, uh, okay. I have it. I have. So, okay, let me check. You told us the meaning, the meaning of the word, the pronunciation, uh, how to use it, and uh, part of grammar. Yes. But I don't remember the number five. I spelling. Don't, I don't remember. Spelling. Oh, spelling. Yes, you're right. Spelling. Now, okay. Now remember we that, have them. that spelling comes in two different forms. How can you <laughs> spell something? How to with uh so imagine this is a face to face class, you know. Yes. And you said, "Ah, oh, Francisco, how do you spell Wednesday?" So I go to the board and I put Wednesday. What did I do? I... Right. Right. Now imagine yes. that I'm talking with you and I said, uh, Bersabe, can you spell your last name? Are you going to write it? Um, I can write it. I I can write it and I I think in uh, different uh, uh, letters okay. in my mind. So, so imagine that uh, um, it, it's a conversation. There is no writing involved. How would you spell your last name? With my, in my mind, I have the, the, the letters. I, I, I right. say the, each word is, uh, sorry, each, each, letter. each uh, letter, yes. Exactly. So the spelling is divided in two forms. You can write it and you can also speak it. Okay. 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 Excellent. Right. So when you're when you are having a conversation with somebody, um, you you spell the letters. So how do you how do you like if you're talking with somebody you write it if possible, uh, mm -hmm. but if you're having a conversation uh, where there is no writing involved, you should uh, do it. Um, you should speak it. You should should be oral. Speak. Right. Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so let's go okay. back to the main session. <laughs> hello, hello. Noe, where is that picture that you have on your profile? Uh, it's in uh, Cayala, Guatemala. Okay. Paseo. Yeah, Paseo, I, I suspected that it was Guatemala. <laughs> I, you know, last time that I was in Guatemala was like uh, like 20 years ago. And I don't remember <laughs> seeing that. 20 years ago? 20 yeah. years ago? Yeah. yeah. A I, lot I of been, time, teacher. Yeah, yeah. I've been in Guatemala like in three different times. And my last time was like 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, you will see a bit different if you if you go now. I imagine. Yeah, but totally. It's a, it's a nice country. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Rolling over the mother is 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 that that traffic. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but 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 it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's the, a nice traffic, country. And the and the distance. Yeah, it, it's a big country compared yes. to El Salvador. Compared yeah. to the suburb, yes. Yeah. I like the, the weather in Guatemala. Yeah, it's fresh. Yes, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Right. Nice. Yeah. Guatemala is a nice country. I visited Nicaragua last year, uh, but I haven't been to Guatemala in the past 20 years, so I should go soon. Okay. Yes, yeah, you should. <laughs> Do you yeah. feel the, the weather in Nicaragua hot? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yes. Yeah, similar to here, similar to here. And mm. it's, a, it's a very beautiful country too, Nicaragua. I like Nicaragua. Yes. yes nice country, right. nice country. Okay, um, 
any questions about the, the questionnaire you guys were discussing? No. Now is everything clear? Okay. Maybe about the about the tenses. Uh huh. Or, or um, the parts of grammar and and tenses. We, oh, we have twelve. Doubt. Twelve tenses. Okay, how many tenses are there? Twelve. I found twelve, but I also have found uh, sixteen. Okay, uh, if we talk about the American version, there are 12 tenses. Uh, simple present, simple past, simple future, present perfect, blah, blah, blah. So you have 12 at the end. Now, how many parts does grammar have? We found uh, eight. Grammar? Eight. Eight is correct. Eight dollars and nine yeah. British, British yeah. grammar. It's right. about uh, the, the part of grammar, it's uh, like the part of a sentence, am I it right? It could be, it could be, yeah. Could Verbs, be. nouns, adjectives, adverbs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So when okay. you mention all of them, you have eight at the end, right? Okay, great. And like Bersave said, uh, if you talk about British grammar, they yeah, have, they have nine. nine. They have they nine. nine. Yeah. So, um, and remember that the British are... Uh, some kind of upset with the Americans because of how they change the language, you know. How do you say 30 in English? 30. 30. 30. 30. How do you say 30 in British? 30. 30, right. 30, right. And same with 20, 20. Uh, how do you say horario in English? Schedule. 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 Yeah, schedule. 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 Now, the British, they say shuttle. 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 Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so they, there are, there are um, many words, many, 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 many words that are pronounced very differently when you compare British and American. You know? Water, yeah. for example. Yeah, like, you know, that, like, uh, British pronunciation, they don't pronounce letter R. So how do you say agua? Mm -hmm. water. water. Now, if, if you talk about American pronunciation, you will say water. water. They water. have some water. But if you go to England, they will say water. 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 Mm -hmm. water. Yeah. water. Letter R is quiet. Yeah. Or yeah. doctor. 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 How do you say doctor in British? Doctor. 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 doctor so they oh. don't pronounce letter r yeah for example for example the dear when we say dear they say deal yeah exactly mm -hmm. and their accent is easy to recognize oh this guy is british of you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but it's the band because in 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 netflix i'm watching a theory named the crown picky, picky <laughs> blinders no picky blinder they Speaking okay. uh, very strange. Um, oh yeah, but, uh, but that, 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 that that is for a reason, no? It's because the that series is uh, about the forties and fifties, I think. Nineteen thirties, exactly. Yeah. That, that's the reason, and then that's, maybe that's the reason. Yeah, even even if you watch uh, American series or documentaries, whatever, from nineteen thirties or forties they use vocabulary that people don't use anymore. Yes. So, you know, because, mm -hmm. and that's why languages are on a constant change, you know, like some words tend to disappear and then new vocabulary arrives. So, yeah. Yes. They speak very strange. Mm -hmm. That happened in every language, I think. They, right. They, they use a, a word like a comoding. They use bloody. In many ways, it's, right. it's a bad word. Not French in the in the, in, in the British English is a bad word. I think. Yeah. So, uh, so most languages, uh, they are called live languages because they're constantly changing. Then you have others that are I don't I don't remember if the word is dead, but 
the same way they spoke 100 years before, they spoke exactly the same way right now. So, but most languages are on a constant uh, change. They're constantly uh, changing. For sure. Okay. Any any other questions about uh, what uh, about the six questions we have here? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. So now we go with our last discussion. And time flies, teacher. Yeah, time flies exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let me see this here. Share. Mm -hmm. Where is, hold on. I forgot what I, let, let me look for it in the phone. Uh, nine to 10. Okay, can you see the questions? Conversation is about years. No. Yes. It's it's in the WhatsApp chat. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. okay. Let me let me teach. Ah. Yeah. So, cause I don't know where in the computer I have it, but let me look for it. Where is this? Let me see this. My goodness. Well, let me look for it. And when I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll send it. So let me, let me arrange your last uh, intervention. Uh -huh. Okay. Move to room four. Let's do it.
rest at home, uh, you won't need uh, a, a, a vacation to, to your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> vacation <Yeah>. for the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I, I think always I need vacation for my vacation because I like to go out and I don't rest. Ah, okay. I don't rest. Okay. Always I have something to do. Okay, it's nice. <laughs> Very well. Okay, let's see the questions. What in graduates, yes, graduation work. And the 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 engineer told us that uh, to the to the team and the uh, I belong to this team and the teacher told us okay ingenieros eh, ya están listos You're right. okay it was very wow uh, uh, impressive very amazing for me at uh, that year i i remember and i only only in, was very uh, important in my life to finish my my career okay, okay that's good okay, okay number three what important events happened in the year of your birth? Uh, I don't know. I born in 19... at bad situations uh, not uh, nothing has uh, like uh, bother me something bad or uh-huh yes well in my uh, case, what about you yeah in my case maybe this is the best year in my adult life um because um i think i'm lucky and the 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 job that I have, um, I can do it by my home. I am in the house uh, all the time, and I am with my kids and my wife. Um, nothing bad happening in this house or in my family. Um, so, well, I think that was a, a good time to be um, close with, 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 with my loved ones. Loved ones? Loved ones. Yeah. Yeah, is, I think many people has uh, to enjoy time with their family. There are some, some cases that are the positive, but it's nice that you have enjoyed yeah, your time. Yeah, there's some cases that are not exactly good. Uh, but for for me, I was working like all the time. I was a part of the house like all week long. And for the first time in, I don't know, like 10 years, I'm spending a lot of time with my family. Okay, uh, number number five. five, five, right? Five. Do you make New Year resolutions? Uh, yes, in my case, I want to be completely bilingual next year. That's one. <laughs> 
one res new year resolution for me. Nice. What about you? Uh, to be honest, I, uh, I don't really understand resolutions. It's like goals? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like objectives you may have for next year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, I, I think I will have the, the same the same resolution. That we lose everything. We lost it. <laughs> okay. And the next question, what was the best thing to happen to you last year? What was the best thing that happened to you last year? Last year? Last year, um, in my case, I have a very good year. Uh, I have good business uh, in my company. Um, I travel a couple of times in the year. Uh, I got sick, and fortunately, I I got healthy again. So, I think it was a couple of good and best things. The last year. Okay. Um, what was the best thing to happen to you last year? Um, I could say that the best thing for me last year was that my daughter um, uh, finalized her studies in the university. So. Great. That's yeah. Great. That was the best thing, I guess. <laughs> and you, Eduardo? What? what was the best thing to happen to you? Eduardo, he left. Oh, his microphone is off. Uh, what is the best year at school? What is the best year at school? I think it's kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is our last session of 2020. Once again, thank you very much for being here, for being patient. And uh, I will see you when I see you. It was a privilege meeting you guys. And uh, like I said, uh, thanks for everything. So you guys have a good night. Happy New Year's. And Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry Christmas Thank to you. you Thank teacher. you. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for yeah. everything that yes. you do. Uh, Thank you. So, for your, teacher, for your today is our last class? Today is our last class. Yes. We don't that have class tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. That's we have the last reason, Friday. That's, what, that's the reason why we came last Friday. Yes. So we finished today, and you have until today, 12 midnight, to finish the platform. I oh. hate the platform. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so thank you very much thank for you. everything. Bye-bye. OK, thank you. Thank you, bye. teacher. Bye. Good, night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends.